people. Alright, sure, mm -hmm. I have... Uh, which one do you want to start with? I have also gone ahead and... Uh, Dark Mage. Alright. Cool, so... Give him, like, a short sword of some kind. You got any pictures? No, I wish I had artists to draw this kind of stuff for me, but no. Okay. How short are we talking? Oh, I just, I just mean like nothing flashy or anything. Standardy sword. All right. What next? Cool. Um, and give him the magic book in the other hand. That's a light thing. Well, th is there anything? Is there a dark magic book? I don't know what to tell you. That's there the is the dark version of the Divine Arbiter, which is the name of the unit that wields the book. Is the Tempest Lich. Yes, that is the name. You can see we can uh, scroll up here and find this. Oh boy. That sound, that looks like something, oh my goodness, that actually looks like something that Trico would have. That's like, because he's got sort of electric -y powers and he's got a staff, so that's a thing. But, but like I said, these guys aren't that showy. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, is there any sort of way you can do something dark without it being crazy looking? <laughs> oh, I don't know what I'm saying. We can go down to the other staff. We can go to that staff. Yeah, that's not really any better. I was trying to go for the magic aspect, not having a magic weapon. The magic in this book is not based on weapons, it's just something that comes from some sort of gemstone, basically. Alright, then, uh, what is he- what is his magic? Because we can give him a throw, then. Oh my goodness, <laughs> it's a freaking thunderbolt throw. <laughs> Maybe we should just make Trike go first, since we're looking at all this stuff. Can you, can you give this guy the Thunderstaff and the Thunderbolt throw? Here, still, with Dark Mage. No, let, let's switch to Trico, because we keep on seeing things that match with him. Alright. <sighs> okay, so... Trico actually does have some in-progress art. It's not colored yet, but I can give you a vibe. And uh, what else does Trico do? Um, anything dark magic-y, I don't know. Uh, um, I, I don't know, what have we done for the other mage characters? Uh... Oh, you probably wanted name spelling. No, I, I I can get it because you oh. because you sent oh, me the right. list, remember? Yep. Okay. Here's the in progress art for Trico. I can't send it in the server because it's sort of a secret. Oh, but... okay. Very well then. Um that is a head and a half. Yeah, so he's green. Like like praying mantis kind of it's it goes weird. <laughs> That's honestly maybe the closest we get for a single thing because I am not spending yeah. going through the effort to just try and put a bunch of little things together like some other people do. Alternatively, we could give him a spider head. Actually, that looks pretty good. Okay. 
Oh, and Witch you can make it green. Uh, that second to darkest one. Uh, top left. Oh, geez, that's a lot brighter than I thought. Um, maybe top right. Yeah, that one. All right. Uh. So, he is green, but in terms of clothes, he only wears a, like, black cape. And we've done that before with other characters. All right. And then you need to give him something here. You might want something plain just so you can color it green to get it to look about right. Alright, game, what do you got for me that is just. Yep, long sleeve. Oh, well, that's not gonna work. Anyway, uh, back here. Abilities. Does he have any? Well, magic-y stuff. I don't remember what magic -y stuff we've used before. It's been a lot. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I know, but... I, I don't know. I don't have it as good a sense as you of what's actually in this list. Well, I mean, tell me what he can do, and I can figure out what to do based off of that. Well, my book is basically limitless. It's just stuff. He, The thunder you've already got. He uses a thunderbolt on some magic to basically dissipate it. Um, most of what he does with fighting is with a staff. He can use his magic to make it more powerful. I'd assume he knows how to make a shield. Fighting magic generally is common for these characters, so, like, firing bolts of magic. Uh, I don't know, that sort of stuff. All I really heard, all I really heard that I can make is fight, is shield and thunder, lightning, whatever, things. So, sure. Alright. What was what was that solar maelstrom thing I saw in the list? That's, uh... I'm not sure I, if I want to give it to him, but... That's Ivy, I think. Oh, is that the healing thing? Yes. Okay. Okay, hit yeah. points. Um... Huh. I'm not sure. It's either... Are you gonna give many pants? Uh, no. <laughs> Why not? Don't feel... Because technically if he's all green, those are... Now, the normal tab skin is now his pants. Let's just... Let's move on. Let's... Okay. Uh, 2,000 for hit points. 0.9 for size. Um, movement speed 1.5. Mm -hmm. Um, that's probably it. All right. 2,500. That's about my new... The current average of every character I make. Next unit. Cool. I do actually have one with a picture for you. Mm -hmm. Uh, finding it. I don't know why it's not loading. But who is it? It's Quinn. 
this guy is a Cthulhuus, and he's super cool, and he's very plot relevant, but we can't tell anyone why. <laughs> yeah. So, he... I just sent you a picture, so... Yes, I, I know, I see it. Um... established. Oh, I, oh, I need... <laughs> No, it needs to be smaller. Sure. And then we color this like a freaking crystal blue. Oh yeah, that actually looks pretty good. And then the ice mage hair is the closest we get to the hair he has. Anyway, alright, time for this. Cool! Sword. Any kind of sword. I don't mind what. Maybe big so it can be two-handed. How big we speak in? I I don't know. A reasonable bigness. Because there there is a very large discrepancy between what is a big sword and what is not a big sword. We have some. We have skinny long sword. I mean that looked pretty cool. What, you want to go with the Quan? <laughs> spoon. Yeah, sure. There's a spoon in there. Yes. Alright. So... Abilities. Quinn... Quinn doesn't really... Like, he's got the dark magic stuff, dark magic fighting things, but I know you can't do that. And well, his mean... magic isn't really themed like the other characters. Um, what can he do with his magic, is the question. Or what has he done already with the magic? Uh, he knocked out a bunch of people. Like, with, a, with an explosion of sorts. Uh, he can, he can kind of like telekinesis it. Um, he, uh, why do you expect me to know so much about this book that I've written myself? Because... It's not fair. <laughs> All right, then let, I'll, let me ping everyone I'm and ask. I'm working on it. Hmm? I'm working on it. Um, Quinn's a fool, okay? Um, he... I'm literally scrolling through the book. I mean, if you want, we could probably, they... like, ping Did some... Uh... Magical arrows or something? Um, arrow no. volley. I mean, yeah, why not? I don't think it was arrows, but it was definitely some sort of magic projectile on mass. Oh, he, uh, he put, uh, Velda to a death stasis. Is <laughs> that, that thing that I kind of forgot about. Um. Which means it, what exactly? Uh, she was, her, her body wanted to die and her soul would not. And so she was just kind of stuck. Okay. Yeah, you know, nightmare fuel. Nah, no, that's fine. That's fine. I'm a, I'm a li I'm a, I'm a skeleton. <laughs> Any uh nothing you can't think of anything else? My I didn't write my books expecting to turn them into tabs moves. Well, I mean, if you wrote fight scenes in the book, then that's kind of what we <laughs> need to base this off of. I'm not great at writing fight scenes to be honest. Good at writing banter. Alrighty then, we can just go ahead and decide to move on then. After you just save time, I'm just gonna pause the recording while I make his stuff. Uh, yeah, back to the video. Alright, stats. Um, 2500 hit points. Um, increase 
Maybe just increase his damage like 1.5. I don't think anything else would really be reasonable. He's a pretty standard human y guy. Alright. Yep. And then. 2300. God, that's an awkward cost to use. Alright. Mm -hmm. Alright. Working on it. It's not really human. But uh, either but way, if you shape. were to sit here for the um, tournament that would be later today, it involves Ian, Petchy, and Clark as three of the contestants. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Okay. Cha is on the right side in that picture. It's That is a stick looks, man. Sort of, yeah. It's they're they're like spirits basically. Um So Yeah, I don't know how else to describe it besides that. <sighs> so like how do we do this? How do we do this? Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> uh, you know what? Sure, we can do that, and that looks pretty similar to the model I have been given. Anyway, weapon time. <laughs> Scout. Um. Okay, so here's here's the thing. Mm -hmm. Cha is a spirit, so yes. it can't hold stuff. Okay. So it doesn't have a weapon unless it was some sort of magic -y thing, maybe? Alright, then uh, let me just type in like throw the... here. Yeah. Uh... Maybe the fireball throw? It's not really realistic for a Cha to be able to fight that well, but we're just gonna do it because why not? Okay, uh, it can hover, so there's that. Alright, next. Uh, you know that, you know that thing with the, with the, like, dark tendrils? Yes. That, yeah, that could be neat. Uh... They're called Weeper Wings because I think the developers were just too scared to call them tentacles. <laughs> okay. No Reaper, absolutely um, one of the best normal game units, one of the coolest things to ever have been put into tabs. Anyway, what next? Maybe dodges of some kind? Which Unless one? Unless there's... I don't know. Uh... At any really, I don't, I don't really care. Well, he is a range unit, and I don't think that uh, you'll get to use the melee ones all that much. Mm, that's fair. Anyway, uh, stats. Uh, shoot. Uh, so. I don't, I don't even know how to describe how strong Shaw is. Alright then, um, pause the recording because we're running out of time and we're about to show off the stats. Here are our stats, and our price is going to be 2600 Oh, that's not too bad. Eight, and that's what I meant. Alright. Cool. Uh. Sword? Which interesting looking sword? Huh? White, interesting looking sword. Like how interesting are we talking? I mean if you got anything from the fantasy good stuff, that's probably Uh, we do not have swords from that. We have swords from the evil. 
Oh, sure, because everyone knows that good stuff is at its heart. We have ham uh, we have hammers and gauntlets. Huh. And um, we have swords from the evil. So that's an option. We can give the stiffy sword, which has a unique blade to it. Um Flaming Sword. Ooh. Yeah. Is it actually on fire? Yes, it is actually on fire. Can we do that just for fun? That's <laughs> Yes. <laughs> looks so OP. Okay. Uh yeah. So any sort of light magic y stuff. For a Shield police. probably. Uh the solar maelstrom thingy. Alright. Uh this here is a ma is a massive light hammer that gets brought down. Ooh. Yeah. Can okay. buy with that. Okay. That it? Yeah, I guess. Sounds good. Do we have a photo? Nope. We okay. are two of the characters that don't have pictures. She's got long dark hair, uh, and she'll be wait wearing, like, a white robe, kind of. Alright, hold up. We'll be back. Fun stuff! Stats! Let's go. Yay! Uh... 2,000 hit points... Higher attack speed, probably. I don't know what else would really make sense for her. What What'd you say for, for it? Uh, one and a half attack speed. Yeah, she's not that interesting. All right. Cool. Nice, even twenty one hundred. Very cool. Oh. They'd have probably the same clothes as Larissa. Alright. Oh, you can make it, maybe give them boots instead of the normal shoes, though. Alright. Sure, we can do that. Oh, that that awesome. Anyway, uh, what do we do here? Uh, I, a, a sword that doesn't look very interesting, and then the light magic book on the other hand. Yep, that'll do it. Okay. Uh, I don't know if it even would be worth giving them abilities. That might make us too much of a mess. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Alright. Things. Cool. 1,500 hit points, and that's it. Standard as you get. I mean, if you, if we wanted it to be standard, we should really go lower. Yeah. Yes. How much lower are we talking here? I don't know. Like a thousand? Five hundred? I mean, I mean, how many are there supposed to be in relation to fighting one of the characters? Uh, I don't think there's ever gonna be a lot of them fighting one character. No, I take that back. Give them 500, I think that'll work out well-ish. You don't want to go too low, because then he's going to outnumber them, and this book is going to demolish everyone and everything. <laughs> but too high is the exact opposite. Anyway, uh... Cool. So, now we do the opposite of that. Yep. Go ahead and instead 
instead of making a new thing, we're just gonna go here, edit. That is a lot of colors. And done. Cool. It costs twelve hundred instead of fourteen hundred. Anyway, we are here to uh, do a little show, do our you know showcase stuff. Anyway, I think it'll be best to uh, have him go against a big boom. Provided, you know, he manages. Provided Trico manages to uh, hit the boom boom devices. Easy. Well, he hit those. <laughs> All right, there. There's one. Uh, the barrels are still there. Those are highly explosive. Anyway, well, I guess didn't need him. Uh, Quinn. <laughs> yep. There. There's that. Oh my goodness, what was that? <laughs> That's a uh, banshee scream for the telekinesis you said. Cha! Dang. Cha's looking a little white. <laughs> and very overpowered. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, these units, these don't have health, you know? Yeah. Larissa. Alright. Oh, okay. I mean, I don't think you can call them overpowered. They're fighting literal <laughs> peasants and kamikaze- and, uh, quote-unquote kamikaze kegs. That's just funny. And we'll have both of the mages go together. Because why not? Hey, that was pretty good. Oh my god, you know what happened at the end? The Dark Mage threw a lightning at one of the peasants and it ricocheted off and hit the Light Mage. That's funny. <laughs> Alright, right. now then, let's actually get into the fights. Go ahead. Cool. So, this scenario happens maybe like nine chapters into TKR. Uh, Quinn has been distracted by the keepers on the stargazer and has not noticed that his ship has been boarded for light mages. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Quinn's on his bridge up there with his dark mages. Light mages are showing up from all sides, and... I don't know, I mean, he usually teleports away before anything happens, so I guess he's not going to have that opportunity here. No, uh, there's nowhere to teleport to. The void. He teleports through the void. Anyway, I'm gonna ask her a quick question before we get this started. I have even now our cost sides because I like that, and we'll see how it goes at the most even cost possible. I have removed the health bars, so no one knows who's going to win. Even I don't know. But uh, yeah. Oh my. <laughs> the light magic stuff is kind of terrifying. Okay. They have a, an entirely different thing to contest with, though. There go the arrows. Uh oh, and there goes my frame rate. Anyway, uh, they get Where to the fight off facing now. Off. Oh, oh, oh! There's that. There's the hammer. Orbital strikes. Darn. Anyway, we'll move on to the next battle. Win. Your move. Okay, so in the story that I have written, which Tavis apparently does not agree with, Quinn overwhelms Larissa's people and chases them onto another ship. Like, 
they teleport, he teleports after them. Larissa runs into the room, um, but is quickly followed by Quinn, and Quinn is trying to hunt down the keepers. Turns out what this that's what this has been about. And so Velda gets a little burst of courage and goes to face him, and that's what this is. It's it's a lightning versus an orbital strike. <laughs> of course they lost. Um, yeah. I but... mean, actually, we could go back and tilt things very much in Quinn's favor. That's all right. <laughs> yes. Um. All right. I mean, something's happening. You see, I I feel like there is a very much, very very high possibility that uh, someone falls off the edge before someone, before one kid side edge Yeah. Dies. Oh, hey, Possibly. look at that. Arrows. Fun. <laughs> I think he <laughs> Oh, Lord. Cursed again? <laughs> look at that headshot. <laughs> Dang, that's pretty awesome. Um. Okay. Well, uh, we get to move on I'm to our next fight. <laughs> I'm supposed to win. <laughs> um... We can make him win. Let's do what? Totally not doing anything here. Um. Ah. Uh... Ah. Uh... Get over here. All right. Let me hit the frame by frame button. Yeet. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well. Uh. I guess that works. Uh, we just shot Velda a bunch of times in the face. Anyway. Cool. Let's move on. <laughs> You're up. All right. So, uh, Quinn captures the keepers. Velda and William, he, well, he's intending to interrogate Velda and William, but they escape. And so this is them fighting him off, basically. All right, that's it. All right, cool. All right. Yeah, that's about as simple as it gets. Oh, it's just swooping in. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, they, that's all. That... <laughs> okay, this isn't even a contest. <laughs> that, um, I think it's Tank... I want to say the name is Tank Rider 001 or something dumb like that. Anyway, obviously, we're going to have to move on to cool. the next one. You're up. Okay, so uh, Quinn calls in reinforcements. These are, this is much more reinforcements than I think would reasonably be in the book, but that's okay. And Too bad. Uh, yeah, so obviously Velda and William get overpowered at that point, and she. Well, I'm getting into plot at that point, but yeah, they lose. Oh no! Oh, they they summoned a small one skeleton. combined, one combined force of lightning bolts. Goodness. Win is over here. I thought they had pinned William to the wall with the lightning. Velda has uh, died. Oh. Oh, is this is this happening again? Oh no! Oh, William's immortal. See, you you forgot no, one he's not. thing. No, no. He's taking damage. Really? Um, William can't die. <laughs> oh no! You know what? It it doesn't matter. They have banished William to the shadow world. <laughs> to the sha to the shadow realm he goes. Let's get to our next fight. Gear up. Cool. So, uh, Trico. The guy on the left, he's trying to come in and rescue the keepers, uh, with his group of dark mages, and uh, yes, Trico is a bugman, and Quinn is over there defending his uh, bridge again. Trico is supposed to win this one, but there. this is taps, so uh, who I, knows? I think. Yeah, they they might. Up, oh, one dark mage decided to. Uh, he. Uh, Commit that. Yep. Okay. He pulled an Emperor Palpatine, I guess. That missed. 
Up, oh, another Dark Mage has fallen. Well, there will be a lot more Dark Mages to fall soon. It should, it should realistically come down to Quinn versus Draco because there's the same amount of Dark Mages on both sides. Up, oh, they've banished Quinn. They banished Quinn to the shadow. Oh, no. <laughs> Sure, we can we can say there's an escape pod or something down there. This <laughs> this is Coruscant or something that's Star Wars related. Anyway, yes. oh, Quinn loses. Yeah, that's Quinn. all right. Anyway, let's get to our next battle. You're up. Okay, so um, the keepers are kind of sketched out by Trico to say the least. Uh, and they decide to take control of the ship themselves because they're not really sure why all these other people are doing it. And so they form a plan, two parts of which are going to show up here. Velda and William uh, storm the bridge and incapacitate the three dark mages that remain after some other keepers chase Trico and Quinn out. <laughs> essentially. And anyway... It's it's kill. There is no incapacitating here. No uh, bank robber number something or other. Anyway, William's just gonna stand up there and be king of the hill. <laughs> Belda's doing all this dirty work. I thought she was gonna decide to jump off the map. Oh, William decides he wants to come down. D did he, does he come down anyway? Let's move on. You're up. Okay, so this one's much less of a fight, but it is plot relevant. So basically what happens is Trico and Quinn were on the bridge with those three dark mages, and then Ozul came in and projected an illusion of a light mage, and then just had the light mage bolt. And so Quinn and Trico bolted after it, and uh, these three keeper guys then locked them in a random cabin somewhere. That's not really replicable in tabs. But, oh, uh, uh, I think uh, each other, Evie so. has decided to uh, commit not exist. Uh, Ozil uh. has died. Ivy somewhere down there in the pits of Tartarus. And I Come think, on, honestly, sooner rather than later, they're just gonna force Ian to back off off the edge. The keepers are supposed to win. Well, Ian, you can. <laughs> oh, no. there he goes. He just got yeeted. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, let's move on. As we don't have any of the other units needed to make some of the other fights on the list that I have been handed, the last fights we have are of the training variety. Let's yeah. So, uh, basically, Cha was trying to teach Felda how to spar on the Stargazer. And this is a slightly more violent version of that, but we'll go with it. Um, I'm not sure if either of them are taking damage. There we go. There's, there, there's some damage. Anyway. It's gonna t Up, up. Oh. It's definitely gonna take a while, because... Velda yeah, they're has actually really easily matched. Velda has to get in with the uh, with her Void Monarch dodge, and then it's uh, Shaw's turn to just deal damage like that. Let's move on to our next battle. Kind of. Anyway, we yeah, have so... we have the glitch that I'm honestly <laughs> I'm gonna try and work it out it tomorrow. I think because tomorrow is mid-season, we're going to have a big tournament as well as some balance changes afterwards. Because I can't... I'm not okay with an invincible unit in tournament standard. <laughs> anyway... Darn! Well, there were okay. I, I need yeah. to figure out what is doing the thing that makes him invincible. Or just... So William basically walked in, like, when Cha and Veldo were training and was like, hey, so you want to spar with me? And then... Promptly shows off in dramatic yeah, fashion. Yeah, he, he yep. is indeed. Yep, pretty off. much. 
yeah, that was not anyway, even a contest. Let's move on to the next. I, I'm sorry. You, you want you want stronger Velda? How about we do more Velda? <laughs> so this is after the keepers get to Kartohan, which is where they spend a bunch of the early book. Um, Velda and William end up training there a lot on this uh, practice field. Hi, Grim. <laughs> How oh. quite of you to join us. Yeah, no, you're you're definitely gonna die. You do not have the health necessary to do this. Come on. Oh yeah. Uh, he he's been glitched again. Why is William immortal? I think yeah. the correct term is why is William so buggy. I mean, technically all of the keepers are immortal. So it's uh, sort he, of he, he's taking a, a bit of damage. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Where'd that one oh, come see. from? <laughs> oh, oh no. hey, cool. It took like four and a half Velda's. No way! Sweet! <laughs> Velda for the win! Um, and then we have this. Yeah. So. This is later on, I think, the second or third day. When, um... Okay, let ours be in the crap out of Velda. But yeah, it's it's just more training field practice stuff. Oh, they summoned a shield bearer. That's fun. Oh. Good. Good job. She's in close now. What other fights should we see while we're here? What do you mean? Pretty close. Just, just in general, what else should we see while we're here? I don't know. I mean, I don't have anything else related to the book in particular. I think, uh... I think Azul and Ivy are sparring at one point, but that's only briefly mentioned, so... I'm sure they all kind of spied with each other every now and then. 28 characters, Jesus Christ. Alright. <laughs> uh, any matchups you want to see here with the new characters? Uh... Well, you've already had all the big ones. Quinn at Quinn versus Trico, Quinn versus Larissa. I don't remember what happened with those, but yeah, those those guys have some history together. Oh, we've got we've got dark light people in here. I almost forgot about that. Yeah. Um. Okay, Ozul is sparring with Ivy. Yeah. That's when Tarin shows up and is like, actually have good form. And then freaks the heck out of everyone involved. All oh, right, the tree. Yes, the tree. That is honestly pro possibly just going to one shot poor old Azul if it manages to hit. But will it is the bigger question. Oh, it, it hit a little bit and it hit again. Oh. Dang it. She, Azul is the, is the weak rogue. He doesn't need to have health points when he has speed. Anything else here? You're welcome to just pit some characters against each other, I don't care. Alright, let's let's do something real quick. I guess here we go with some am, matchups that weren't shown before. I am highly biased, but I think writing is a really cool hobby. Um then again, if you're Inexperienced in creative writing, starting off fresh can be really, uh, it can be a struggle. 
like you i've i've met people who are like a month in of their first book and they're just trying and like they know it's bad and it's like like i I don't even know what to tell them at that point they come to me and they're like hey can you help me figure out how to make this better and i'm like practice like it's it's just it's as simple as that like i can't just tell you everything that's wrong years and years of practice this is why i use the simulation map so freaking things like this don't happen because this is going to take this is literally going to take forever this is not going to be an ending fight they're hiding they're being strategic no it's that larissa can't climb a stump <laughs> or weaken it to the stumps. Looks like you just got bonked with the staff instead of actually, you know, struck <laughs> down by lightning. Anyway, I think that's about it. That's all really I have planned right now, and I that's all that you have had planned. Yep. So, with that being said, I thank you all for watching, and I will see you, most of you in the Daily Tournament that'll be later.